What's up? What's going on, Pisces? What it do? What it do? Hey y'all! Hey y'all! Hey y'all! So, I'm just doing a Pisces reading. Mia is just sitting in. She's a Pisces as well. Check out the other videos we just dropped for the channel. Um, a bunch of different content, but since I haven't done a Pisces reading in a minute, I figure I just do one now. And so, let's see. God is just wearing universe or the messages for Pisces at this time. As soon as I said that, you said this flip out. It just flips so out. Funny. That's so crazy. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let's see. Can we do a little bit down like that? Okay. All right. Actually, I don't like that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do not be on camera like this, but it's going to blow me. Okay. Anyways. So, this is so funny because, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to mention the other videos we just did, y'all, but make sure you check it out. Um, but this is a theme. This is a theme for us Pisces. First card out, Ten of Pentacles upright, a lot of money, a lot of financial investments coming to fruition here. This is stability. This is long-term um, foundation that you're building and something that you're being rewarded with. So, if you've been spending a lot of time researching, studying, doing this, doing that, working, um, just investing in stuff. It's like now is the time where it's all coming back to you and you don't have to worry as much about money because you're building some sort of like cycle or some sort of like, what do you call it? It's almost like an assembly line. Like once you get all the parts together, it just runs, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you're putting all the pieces together so it can just run and yeah you're getting that payback you're getting that reward okay but it's something um emotionally here that is bothering you or unfulfilling we got the two of swords upright so a lot of indecision not really knowing what to do about a certain situation in particular having a bunch of options but just not knowing what to do with them all right and then at the bottom here we got water energy your energy so right now pisces a lot of y'all probably aren't even in your energy you're really just like working you're focused you kind of could be workaholics right now and you're ignoring your emotions you're not really even paying attention to them because when you think about the past you think about offers that were declined situations that didn't work out you think about something from your past um that should bring you a lot of nostalgic energy and it does but it also comes with a lot of painful memories and such so either you or somebody else that you were dealing with could be another water sign so pisces cancer scorpio in particular um you could have kids with this person with the page energy here or this this person could just be very child childlike okay but this is the person that um Either you turn down their offer or they turn down your, your offer and now they think about what could have been. Um, but there's just so much bad history there that it's like, it, it doesn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. It just sits in this person's head and it sits in your head. You know, with the two of swords here, this is indecision. You're not moving. So instead of even worrying about all this emotional turmoil and such at the bottom here, you just have a blindfold on and you're just focusing on money mm -hmm. and trying to see if that helps you decide. Yeah, Page of Wands, you're looking for some sort of inspiration here. This is also more having to do with children um, or just a youthful type of energy. You want to be excited, passionate about something and go towards some sort of new area in your life, some sort of new direction. Uh, could be dealing with a fire sign too. Could be somebody coming in very passionately just to like arouse some sort of curiosity. But honestly, I feel like yeah, I was just gonna say I feel like it's about money, not love. Yeah, I feel like there's something that's really um fueling you, and then the page of pentacles pops out here. So I feel like yeah, there's something that's really fueling you, and you're going towards a dream of yours, and it's like you see it, you have it in your hand. It's it's almost all yours, you know, and you're just trying to get that little extra umph to kind of get your ball rolling and get, you know, to the finish line here. But with the Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, you, you do have like a long road ahead of you if you want to start something new. OK, mm -hmm. but what I feel is that you already have a good foundation. So you have the room to start something new. You know, it's like even if this doesn't work out immediately, you have some sort of backing, some sort of money, something stable that's like keeping you afloat. Mm. So you can go towards your dreams and your passions and stuff like that because you're like, you're secure regardless, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Let's go one more, what is this page? So we got Nine of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be tired of being so independent. Um, you could feel like your money, like you don't want to spend, you don't want to have to be the one to spend your money, if that makes sense. Like you want to be like, you are independent, but you're tired of all, every, all the burdens falling on you financially. 
is what I feel like. You don't want to just be the sole provider or like the sole person that has to like do everything. Um, what's the nine of pentacles in the reverse? Nine of wands. Okay, two nines. So that's synchronized energy. Yeah, but the nine of wands in the reverse, it's like you want to put your guard down. Um, this could be someone that you have blocked too. So this could be someone that you've been holding your guard up, resisting, and you want to like, a part of you wants to put your guard down because you're tired of being like independent and strong. Yeah, you're hoping for some sort of um, refresh here. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups, upright. Emotional fulfillment, uh, true soulmate type of energy. You could feel like you have a soulmate in someone. Um, that's my ice maker, y'all. Sorry. Um, you can feel like you have a soulmate in someone, but you have your guard up with this person. And something emotionally, either that happened in your past or in, you know, in your current present, you know, what you're going through right now, it just doesn't allow you to, to kind of let your guards down. Okay. I feel like this is definitely somebody you probably have kids with. <laughs> okay. Or y'all are just kids when you're around each other. Like when you're around this person, it's like childlike energy because it's, it's two it's a lot of pages on the table and both of them are like matching up with one another so i feel like it could be um a person that brings out a very childlike type of behavior in you and you feel like this is really true innocent pure type of connection um and if it's not romantically for you then this is the reason you have your guard down is because of your self-love like you love yourself too much to you love yourself too much to kind of resist this connection it's like you want to resist it but you don't it, it i see the confusion i feel the confusion two of swords blindfolds like you don't know it's up in the air completely you just don't know what's best you don't know what's the right thing to do um that's the ace of cups yeah but it's all this is all you this is mental um frustration this is you blocking yourself mental mentally but it's in the reverse so you're gonna figure it out and we got the will of fortune it's also in the reverse so you feel like this situation is out of your control you feel like it's maybe like a bad luck situation like no matter what you do it's not going to turn out in your favor so you feel kind of restricted there um but there's something that's going to free you up mentally because yeah with the ace of swords remember i feel like you're going to be freed up mentally because you're going to realize you're going to realize that I feel like this wheel has already turned, okay? And, and you may realize it's just for the best to just let things be how they are. Because if you mess with it too much, it's kind of like you're disrupting destiny. Mm -hmm. Like you don't want to mess with destiny here. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Like you kind of just want to give it up to, to spirit. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna pull a guidance card. Um, yeah, I need the Pisces deck. This one? Yeah. All right, so we got the Pisces deck, y'all. I did put in the order for the restock, so it should be coming soon. <clears throat> Some beautiful cards. Thank you, girl. All right. Let's see. What are the guidance messages for Pisces watching at this time? darkness of course you can't see here i already said that blindfolds all that i'm gonna read from the pisces guidance deck book and i believe i said this in the in the actual yeah it says it's hard to see in the dark feel your way through it mm -hmm. and i literally just said that y'all the blindfolds the confusion the frustration the mental you know what i'm saying it, it's all mental and you cannot, it's like you don't know what to do about a certain situation emotionally. So that's why you're so focused on work. That's why you're so focused on new projects, new ideas, new things that inspire you. Because whatever's going on emotionally here, you can't figure it out. You don't know what to do at all. Um, but it's not, you got to give your brain a rest because you're not going to find the answers in your head. That's not where the answers are. Learning and forgiving. Okay, so this could be someone coming in. Card number 21. 
Um, could be someone coming in who wants to be forgiven or something you need to forgive yourself for. Okay. Or, you know, they want for, they just want forgiveness. I feel somebody just wants forgiveness for, from you. Um, maybe this will free you up and maybe it doesn't make sense to even forgive this person. But it, it's like, who cares? You can't go with what makes sense at this time. Like you're going to drive yourself crazy, you know, let's do one more. Well, two more. We got deception here. All right. So either you or someone around you is deceiving themselves in regards to this situation. All right. So it's time to be honest. It's time to see what's really going on around you. And we have swim away again. All right. So there's some danger here. Whatever you have going on, it, you really have to trust your instinct. You really have to trust spirit because you could be in a sticky situation. And if you stay mentally trapped, Pisces, you could make this situation worse. All right. We have these three that stuck out. Also, we got release change your perception and don't go chasing waterfalls in the reverse hmm. all right so i feel like you got to let something go all right or or see it from a different point of view because it's something that you, it's like you're hitting a dead wall you keep replaying something over and over and over again thinking that's going to like change something and it's not so it's a it's a situation where you have to you have to mentally I, don't, I wouldn't even say mentally don't think about it just feel your way through it honestly just you see this emotion it's all water it's all water energy it's it's letting go it's, an, it's a release of emotion not holding all that stuff in some of y'all may need to cry some of you guys may be feeling like you can't cry you gotta release those emotions or it's gonna mess you up all right so Pisces, I hope this helped you. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a general reading, but I, I feel like, okay, you know, sheesh, can you say it any louder? <laughs> My goodness. Wow. Yes. Well, thank y'all. Oh, okay. That's uh, an alarm. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye.